welcome to Grandma Dodds' Kitchen. I got a good one for you today. We are going to do a blackened salmon and we're going to do a fresh sal uh, salad. Okay? Now, Honesty is going to, is here. Come on, Honesty. Honesty going to do the salad and I'm going to do the salmon. Okay? Now, for the salad, we're going to do, we're going to put, you're going to need, come on, Honesty, tell them what they're going to need. A chicken breast, for one, which has been seasoned with garlic salt, um, onion salt, and black pepper. And she, we're going to grill it on the grill. Okay? So you grill it on the grill for about, on each side, about 10 minutes each side. Okay? And you're going to need the onion. This is the bell pepper. This is cucumber. This is lettuce. This is olive oil. And you're going to need this. The, um, this is a uh, cooking spray. for the spray your grill so that it won't stick. Okay? And you're going to need. This is. Um, a third of a cup of Italian dressing. And this is uh, um, ranch dressing right here. And this is bell pepper. See, we got two different kinds of bell peppers. And this is bell pepper right here, but this is the green bell pepper. And we're going to use the, the, the red onions, okay? And th this is four boiled tomatoes. I mean, Boil and chopped eggs. Okay? Now, uh, I'm just going to do the salad while I do the, the blackened salmon. Okay? Now, the blackened salmon, you marinate it with the blackened season. And you coat it real good. See how I coated it real good? And you let it marinate in the refrigerator. See, I put it, I marinated it. And let it marinate at least two hours, okay? But make sure you cover it. That's all you're going to use is this blackened season. Cover it real good. Make sure it's very, very seasoned. It's very, it's very, it's colored, okay? And what we're going to do is... We're going to, I have a um, cast iron skillet, and we're going to cook it in the cast iron skillet, and we're going to cook it for five minutes on each side, okay? And all we're going to use is, we're going to use butter, and we're going to use about um, a tablespoon of olive oil. To, 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 uh, so I'm going to I'm going to go over to the stove and honestly going to come on honestly and honestly going to come over and and take over with the we've been to church and so I we go to I go to the early morning service I go to the eight o'clock service so when we, when service is over and we get home after about two hours uh, we are hungry so we're going to. Uh, Cook it up real quick right before you and we go I'm gonna see you at the stove. I just gonna take over here and I'm gonna see you at the stove. Because I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the fish and she's gonna do the salad. She's gonna show you how she's gonna mix the salad together. I have a surprise for everybody. Honestly is here. She's 17 years old now, so you know she don't like to come to see her grandmother all the time. But she came this weekend because it was Veterans Day. She didn't have to work. She didn't have to go to school on Friday. So I'm going to turn it over to Honesty right now. Honesty, say hello to my friends hello. And, and get started. Okay. Okay, so today we're going to be making a fall inspired salad, kind of. Uh, this is going to involve uh, chopped peppers, chopped bell peppers, uh, orange, red, yellow, and green. 
Uh, it's gonna have red onions, diced red onions, chopped four chopped boiled eggs, and grilled chicken. As you guys saw before, my grandma put the chicken down, and we're gonna be having uh, oh and cucumbers. So first, I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare your cucumbers. And what I like to do is I like to like season my cucumbers because it gives it the salad more flavor overall. So what I do is I like to put olive oil on my cucumbers at first, just to get just to make all the uh, spices that you put on the stick. Then I put salt. This makes it to where you won't have to season your own salad for when you, um, you know when you always put your pepper on your salad or your salt. This will like prevent that because your cucumbers will be getting the salad that because you did that before. And then you put pepper, salt and pepper. And then I'm going to put a little bit of garlic salt. And you could add your Italian dressing, but you can just add that at the end. Then you should put it in a Tupperware case so you can have a top. So then you can just shake your cucumbers around to get all the everything on there. And like really make it to where everything is nice and coated with what you put on it. So then your cucumbers should look like this, nicely seasoned. So when it goes in your salad, it'll be perfect. Then you want to put all your toppings on your salad. So I just use regular lettuce. I don't use any anything special, no spinach or anything. You can. This is iceberg lettuce, but you can use whatever. So I'm going to put my peppers down. I like to use all the colors because they all taste kind of the same. And they're really pretty when you put them on your salad. So I put those down. Then I put the green one. Then I put the eggs. You can kind of eyeball it to see how much you need, but if you need any later, I wouldn't use them all at once. I would just gradually put them in as you go. Then you want to put your red onion. And the color variations are so beautiful. Then you add your cucumbers. Remember, you don't have to add in everything at once. You can just gradually put it in when you mix it. And then I'm going to dice the chicken. So then, you want to grab the chicken. I cut it into fours because the chicken may be um, hard to cook because I used a breast. So they are very thick. So I'm going to grab two right now. Then I'm just going to cut it. And depending on how you like your chicken, I feel like everybody who, uh, who eats salad, who eats chicken in their salad, you don't have to use chicken if you're vegetarian or you don't, you just don't like chicken. You don't have to use chicken, but it does give the salad more weight. So I like to dice my chicken like that.
since I use a breast, there's lots of like extra pieces. Um, so I just put aside the skin. This is a skin. I don't really use that for my salads. So I just use the meat. And a lot of the time I would eat the salad without chicken. It's just, it just depends on how you're feeling that day. And I'm just giving you all the options. You can use it without or with. Either way, it's really good. So then when everything's all diced up, you want to lay it down on top of your salad. And it gives it just the most beautiful little color. And this kind of salad just reminds me of fall. Every time I eat it, it just reminds me of fall. Then I'm using Italian dressing and I'm just going to lightly coat the top with some Italian dressing. Then I'm going to take ever like just a little bit of ranch and I only use like a little because when you mix it it doesn't really matter and Italian dressing is such a power has such powerful flavor that you don't really need that much ranch. Then you want to mix it and really make sure you get to the bottom so you get every thing all mixed around. And what you want to watch out for is you don't want all your toppings to get lost at the bottom. So make sure you really like scoop it to the top. Because they can get lost at the bottom once you start mixing. And as you go, you want to add more Italian dressing. Just when you know it's starting to look a little dry. And then you add a little bit of dressing ranch dressing I only add a little bit of ranch dressing because it makes people not want to go back in and try to put ranch on top of their salad because they already can taste it and that's all there is to it welcome back now see we're going to put this side it's any side because it, but if it, it was because it don't have um, a skin on it and so we're going to put it in the oil the oil is hot and let it cook let it cook for five minutes on each side okay all right and so I'll be back and I'll show you the finished product Welcome back. This is the finished product. This is the salad that honestly made. Okay. This is the salmon. Now the key to making good salmon is don't overcook it. Five minutes on each side is very is is is, is it's enough. Okay. And we got a rice that we're gonna serve it over a bowl of rice, and we got uh, peas and carrots. Okay. Uh, I want to tell a story about honesty. Honesty, 17 years ago when she was born, she was born about 17 and a half years ago. She's, she's about 17 and a half now. And so um, her mom came to live with me so I could take care of her while she was convalescing from uh, having a baby. So I, her mom came over and so Honesty came from the hospital here. So And so her mom came to stay six weeks and she stayed about two years and so me and Honesty bonded so so when Honesty so when her mama went back home Honesty um, had to go to a uh, few years after that Honesty had to go to to, um, to kindergarten and every day when Honesty went to kindergarten she'd fall out she just screamed and holler and fall and her mother had to stay there with her and calm her down and all that so her mother told her say because she when she was a little girl she loved to come over to my house. So her mother told her, say, I, I make a deal with you. She said, if you don't fall out 
And if you don't scream and holler, and you act good like the other kids, every weekend I will let you go up to your grandmama's house. And so Ernest didn't have to go to school on a Friday. She would have to go to school four days a week. So her her mother and so she said, Oh, you will? And so her mother said, Yes, I will let you go every 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 Thursday and your mother bring you back or I'll pick you up every Sunday. So uh Ernest didn't cry no more, didn't have no more didn't have no more tantrums, didn't fall out no more. She stayed at the school. When her mother dropped her off, her mother didn't have to stay in there an hour and wait for her and wait till she calmed down. And so one day I picked her up from school. Uh, after about, I imagine about maybe like after mother made the deal with her, about three months, and she got in the car with me. And I told her, I said, Honestly, you have learned so much at this school. You've grown up so much. I said, The school taught you a lot. She said, oh, no, uh, the school didn't teach me. I just grew up. I would rather be home watching Barney. <laughs> <laughs> so she was my calendar girl. And so uh, the, I, I used to make uh, pictures of her for my calendars because uh, we, you know, we have, we have an outreach. And so she used to be the outreach um, calendar girl. See that there, she that. And she would love to come over to my house. Now I have to fight with her to come over to my house. Can you believe how change, how times change? That is not true. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that people how times change? See, she used to be my calendar girl. I uh, I used to make calendars. See, and and she was a calendar girl because I would have calendars hanging up in the offices uh, uh, for, at the at the outreach. Okay, and so I just said that to say my how how t times have changed and how they grow up so fast. It seemed like only yesterday. But it's been 17 years and, and over, so she'd rather be at home talking to her boyfriends and stuff instead of coming over to her mama's house. Well, I can't blame her. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, I don't blame her. <laughs> so we're going to have a taste test now, okay? Let's have a taste test, honesty. Okay. So we're going to try this delicious salad that honesty made. And by the way, she became a good cook. She's very good. Her mama make her cook at home all the time. She, Cause she became a good cook, so that, that's a good thing. Cause her mom, her mother don't like to cook. Her mother said, "Oh no, I don't like to cook." And so um, her mother um, have the girls to cook. Her, her mother have two girls, three girls, right? I, 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 you and Jerry, three girls. And so her mother let them make the girls cook. Very good. Very good. Now remember, I have a cookbook. You can order the cookbook. Okay? It's called, if you order from me, it's $15 plus uh, shipping and handling, which is $3. Okay? And I'll autograph it. If you order it from Amazon, you won't get it autographed. Okay, but you can order from me, I will autograph it for you and send it back by return mail. But you can also order from Amazon. 
okay and remember I have another YouTube channel and it's peace through the storm okay so this is soul food that we cooking but peace through the storm is spiritual food so because you and I all of us was built to outlast our storms in life as long as you're on planet earth you're gonna have storms and you we need to learn how to deal with our storms and how to have the right type of attitude when our storms come knowing that God got our back the Lord is our shepherd we shall not we shall not want he protects us he's our protector he's our provider and we need to know that and we need to learn how to use the Word of God in our storms in life and that's what we teach at peace through the storm so I want you to go and check it out for me okay all right happy eating to you and I'll see you next time